Assalamu alaikum. This podcast has been brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the global Islamic seminary. Help us spread the light of prophetic guidance to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Make a small donation at seekersguidance.org slash donate. As little as $10 a month can help people find life-changing guidance. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. While the world is in social isolation in an attempt at containing the coronavirus, we have our young ones at home with us. Looking at the world after pandemic, we have been wisened to the fact that the virus did not discriminate between anyone and everyone has been equally threatened by its danger. We realize that the things we took for granted should have been appreciated and the things we thought to be necessary were not as important as we thought. We ponder over the key lessons we need to inculcate into the developing minds of our young ones. We should not focus on training our children to be spoiled and rich, rather educate them to be beneficial and happy. Let them grow up appreciating the value of things rather than knowing the price of things. Make them realize that people are often possessed by their possessions thinking that they are worth more than others, not by what they are, but by what they own. If you are what you own, what would you be if you do not own it anymore? We all need to realize with our young ones that money gets us a lot of things, but it would be wise to heed the wisdom of those who realize that money may buy books but not knowledge, bed but not sleep, food but not appetite, house but not home, insurance but not safety, clock but not time, medicine but not health, luxury but not peace of mind, fame but not dignity, position but not respect, entertainment but not happiness. The things money buys are the husk, not the kernel, the trimming, not the essence. True value and real happiness is not found in our material possessions, but in the valuables of life, fond memories, cherished moments, selfless acts, dedication and service, love and affection, lasting and meaningful relationships, all the things that money could not buy. Wealth can provide a source of ease and pleasure, but happiness and true value emerges from a far deeper sense of contentment. As the Prophet said, لَيْسَ الْغِنَى عَنْ كَثَرْتِ الْعَرْضِ وَلَكِنَّ الْغِنَى غِنَى النَّفْسِ Wealth is not measured by how much you possess, but rather by the contentment of yourself. Shukran, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Thank you for listening. This podcast was brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the global Islamic seminary. Visit seekersguidance.org to access reliable Islamic knowledge taught by qualified teachers. We offer a wide range of courses, podcasts, articles, and a world-class answer service. Support us in spreading free, reliable Islamic knowledge to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Visit seekersguidance.org slash donate and make a small monthly commitment today. Our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Whoever guides someone to goodness will have a similar reward. So don't forget to share this podcast and spread prophetic guidance.